Welcome back, it's been a minute since I published my last video here on YouTube and today I want to actually take some time and talk about some of the plugins and assets that I use on a day-to-day -day basis in my job as a professional video editor. And full disclosure right here, none of the companies that I'm about to mention is sponsoring this video. I didn't get paid a single penny to include any of them in this video, so this is just my honest opinion on stuff that I use literally every single day. Secondly, there are free plugins and assets in this video, but there are also paid plugins, some of which I paid for with my own money, some of which I got sent by the company to test and try out, but in no single sentence did they mention that I should include them in any video. And just one more thing that I wanna get out of the way upfront, we're not going in any specific order. So we're not going from best to worst and we're not going from worst to best. However, I'm gonna group some of these plugins and assets to make it easier. The first group is gonna be sound design plugins. The second group is gonna be music and all about music. And the third group is just editing assets in general. So starting out with group number one, sound design. And here are two plugins that you can get for free. The first one that I wanna talk about is Krodos Studio. And I've already made a dedicated video about Krodos Studio a while ago, but since then a lot has changed. So basically Krodos Studio is a VST plugin for DaVinci Resolve or a standalone version. And to be honest with you, I mainly used the standalone version because I ran into a couple hiccups using the VST plugin, so I'm only gonna cover the standalone version. Krodos Studio is a sound design plugin that lets you create unique sound effects just by clicking and dragging your mouse. And once you let go of your mouse, the sound is already being recorded and you can just drag and drop this from Crota Studio right into your timeline in DaVinci Resolve. And Crota Studio also has a free plan, which you can choose from 14 different sound scenarios to create unique sound effects for your videos. This is entirely free and you can use it as long as you want. So anyone watching this video, I highly recommend to go over to crotosaudio.com get the free plugin, play around with it, see if it fits your workflow, see if you like it, I promise you, you will, and it will change the way you sound design forever. But they also have the page pro plan, which makes it accessible to over 100 different sound scenarios to create unique sound effects from. And let me tell you, they are constantly working on improving that and adding more stuff to the pro plan to no extra cost. Currently, the pro plan is $9.99 a month if built annually and $14.99 a month if built monthly. So if you like the free version, consider upgrading to the paid version because this is what I'm using and let me tell you, I love it. The second sound design plugin that I'm using is Place It by Soundly. And this plugin is entirely free, so go over to getsoundly.com and download the free Placeit plugin. So what Placeit allows you to do is make the sound effect that you place below your video sound more realistic. Think about a sound effect that has been recorded in a forest, for example, sounds completely different than the same sound effect recorded in an urban environment. Placeit allows you to choose from a couple of different preset scenarios, maybe a sound coming from a TV in a living room or a sound coming from an elevator or a sound coming from a laptop or a sound that has been in the forest and you can choose either if the sound is more far away from the camera or more closer to the camera. Add a bunch of reverberation to your sound effect so you can easily create the perfect sound effect for your scenario. And again, this plugin is entirely free, so I highly recommend you go download it. The second group that I wanna talk about is music. And there's mainly two websites where I get my music from. The first one is going to be Track Club and the second one is going to be Artlist. But let's start with Track Club. And here's the reasons why TrackLab is my go-to music licensing subscription. So TrackLab has a feature called MixLab. And MixLab is basically an audio mixer that is built right into their website. Let's say you have a song that you love for your video, but the song is either too slow or too fast paced. So you can just change the BPM of that song to make it slower or faster to match your visuals. But what Mixlab also allows you to do is to solo or mute each of the individual instrument tracks or vocal tracks. Let's say you like the bass of a song, but you think it's too prominent, so you can just individually reduce the loudness just of the bass track and then download your own mix, download the original version, or you just download all stems for further customization in your editing program. So if you wanna check out Track Club, I highly recommend to, and if you use the link in the description, you will get two free months. 
Now, the second music licensing subscription that I use is Artlist.io. And to be honest with you, I don't use Artlist as much as I used to. Because for music, I now got Track Hub. And for sound effects, I mainly use Crota Studio. However, there are a couple of sound effects that I can't create in Crota Studio that I have to get from somewhere else. And that's where Artlist comes in handy also for the occasional music track that I want to grab from them. And if you're interested in checking out Artlist, use the link in the description to also claim two free months. Now let's move on to the third and last group, which is editing assets in general. And there are mainly three websites where I get my editing assets from. And the first one's got to be Motion VFX. And why Motion VFX? Because they have super high quality plugins specifically for DaVinci Resolve and for every single use case. And they also have a bunch of free DaVinci Resolve plugins. So head on over to Motion VFX or use the link in the description of this video and get all the free plugins that they have. But the main thing that I want to talk about right now is the M Make It Cinematic 2023 plugin. This is a free plugin and they also run a competition alongside that plugin. Entering a competition where you can potentially win a MacBook, a DJI drone, a Sony camera or a couple hundred dollars in store credits for motion VFX is always great, not just because of the prices, but because of the learning experience that you get entering such a competition. And the best part about motion VFX is that you don't have to get all of the plugins. They have a plugin for literally every single use case. If you're a music video editor, get the M Music Video plugin. If you're a documentary editor, get the M Documentary plugin. If you're a wedding editor, get the M Wedding plugin. If you're a YouTuber, get the MTuber 2 or MTuber 3 plugins or both. So you have the option to decide which one that you want to get. So once again, click the link in the description to head on over to motionvfx.com and grab the plugin that fits your needs. So the second website where I got my editing assets from is a website that I've just recently discovered and that website is called AssetBite. And let me tell you this, their editing assets are crazy. I've just bought four or five plugins from them, but let me tell you this, you don't have to buy anything from them. Go onto their website, go all the way down to their footer which you can enter your email and they will send you a free pack combined from all of their packs. So you could just play around with it and see whether you like it or not and just use it forever. The best part is their overlays all come with a dedicated sound created by a sound professional. So usually whenever I'm dragging on an overlay on my videos, it's usually a hassle to give that a little bit of sound design. But that thing is completely gone with Acid Byte. You just drag it on and it comes with a dedicated sound effect, which makes sound designing your video so much easier. So head on over to Acid Byte or use the link in the description of this video. Get the free pack, and see whether you like it. And if you like it, I highly recommend to hurry up because they're currently running a 40% sale storewide to get your favorite plugin. So the last website where I got my editing assets from is a website called Cinepax and to be honest, I only have the 60 millimeter film effects pack, which is crazy. But you don't have to pay anything. They have a page called sample packs where they have a sample pack for all of their paid packs where you can just download all of the packs and drop them forever. But if you decide that you like a pack so much, consider upgrading to the paid version. But there is one more website where I get my editing assets from. And if you can only get one, consider getting Envato Elements because this is literally the check of all trades. Let me tell you this, with Envato Elements, you get stock videos, video templates for DaVinci Resolve, you get music, sound effects, graphic templates, graphics, presentation templates, stock photos, fonts, add-ons, and web templates. And that all just for $16.50 a month with unlimited downloads. So that's all I got for now. Hope this video was valuable to you. If so, please consider hitting that like button because it helps out the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel and this video was valuable to you, consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. But that's it. I'm out.